Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 29th in the series where we're going to speak about one of the effective concepts in the world of foreign exchange hedging, or which is predominantly interest rate hedging. Well, from this side, I'm Rahul Magan, working as a corporate treasurer in EXL Services India. At the same time, I'm working as a business and treasury consultant in various forums across the world, predominantly in Asia, and also speaking for roughly 26 global, 26 global forums. My first co-authored book, which is Options for Risk Free, Risk Free Portfolio, which is already in New York, and second, which is uh, scheduled, which is a uh, title, uh, Techniques to Hedge Your Interest Rate Exposure, is scheduled to publish in Australia by December 2014, Australia and Singapore. Well, I'm again reiterating the fact that today we're going to speak about an effective concept in the world of foreign exchange, which is uh, interest rate hedging. In the meantime, you're welcome to join my 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 foreign exchange academies, which is foreign exchange where we think of so LinkedIn, YouTube, and Daily Motion. LinkedIn is 2036 global members. YouTube is roughly 28 videos, and so is this. So you are welcome to join my 62 million LinkedIn networking at Rahul Nagan 8 at the rate gmail.com. And you are most welcome to contact me at 919-8992429978, or you can join me on Skype. Rahul 5327. Again, reiterating the fact that today we're going to speak about which is interest rate hedging. But before to speak about interest rate hedging, I would like to give you a few demonstrations of that. In the in the year 2010-11, the world has saw a crash. In fact, not a crash. In fact, the world has saw a scam on the LIBOR, LIBOR manipulation, Euribor manipulation, Sonia manipulation. Sonia stands for styling of, of overnight rate and lot many manipulation. This is roughly $1,200 trillion, which is number of times the GDP of the world. Japan is the total interest rate bond issued across the world, or the total bond market across the world is roughly $100 trillion. But the total amount of derivative issued is $710 trillion. So $100 trillion of a bond and total derivative issued is $710 trillion. So total one to seven is to one. And today we're going to cover about interest rate hedging. So I hope we must be very clear of the fact that interest rate hedging play a very significant role for all those people, whether those who are corporate treasurer, those who are doing for trading, or those who are who are taking care for speculation purpose. Interest rate play a very important part in the life for everyone, and for all corporate treasurer who have one or second form of interest rate exposure. Interest rate hedging is predominantly divided into three parts. One is known as POS, which is known as principal only strap. Second is known as COS, which is known as coupon only strap. Third is known as CCR, cross CCIRS, cross currency interest rate swaps. Let me let me love this. This is POS. COS stands for coupon only swaps. Next stands for CCIIRS. Cross currency interest rate swaps. You can also mention to a fact that. CCIRS is nothing but principal only swap plus coupon only swap. Now, what do you mean by let me tell you very upfront or frankly that this video would cover only a small description of all the three. The upcoming videos would be cover the detail of each and everything that do an Excel version on, on using maybe Reuters, right? Now, what do you mean by principal only swap? Sometimes this is also known as pause. Principal only swap refers to a fact that when you have a principal amount which is a foreign currency, now principal only swap, coupon only swap, cross currency interest rate swap, they all work for, for both of the item which is known as external commercial borrowing and foreign currency non-resident bonds and foreign currency non-resident deposits which is effectively means a foreign currency loan. Now, foreign currency loan means a loan taken up by an Indian party where the lender is in India. How the money money could be from outside India? Outside India means 
foreign currency non resident bond people are sitting across the india depositing some money in the form of foreign currency non foreign currency non resident bonds so foreign currency loan means money the lender is in india the money could be outside india it means the, the money belongs to outside india and the person who is getting it is in india in ecb the fund is arranged by somebody who is sitting outside india is remitting from india via an ad or lrn party now in principle only swap coupon only swap and the cross currency swap there is one party which is known as in fact there are two parties both the party one is known as lrn lrn stands for loan requisition number or ad party ad stands for authorized dealer who helps you to complete the documentation of reserve bank of india so on and so forth second refers to as swap party swap party refers to the party to whom who whom you are taking the swap take a very simple example infosys taking 1 billion loan from jp morgan us the money because it's an ecb the lender is outside india funds are in outside india the money comes to india via jp morgan india and where the lrn and ad is jp morgan so are the swap party second case infosys is taking a billion dollar loan from jp morgan us however jp morgan is acting as a lrn or ad however the swap is done with db now in this db would act as a swap party so in this infosys is dealing with two parties Sometimes they may be same, may or might not be. Principle only swaps refers to a swap wherein the total principal or a foreign currency principal is converted into INR straight away. So you do don't have any impact of revaluation. Please be noted that revaluation refers to conversion of foreign currency into local currency, which play a very significant role in case of a liability. So the main biggest purpose of biggest purpose of principle only swap is is to convert your foreign currency liability into INR liability. as to make sure that you are not subject to any form of revaluation and also you are not subject to any form of currency uh, currency impact because principal only swap means you are taking a billion dollar loan you are converting at 62 you are getting 6200 crores and at end of few at the end of say assuming it's a, it's a bullet repayment you will get 6200 crore and settled Coupon only swap refers to you are taking a loan where you are hedging the foreign currency interest part. Suppose you are taking a loan on L plus one fifty. Now you are hedging this. This coupon only swaps are further of two types. One is known as dollar coupon only swap. Second is known as INR coupon only swap. Third refers to cross currency interest rate swap. Cross currency interest rate swap refers to principal only swap plus coupon only swap. Now I can also refer to as the principal coupon only swap of two type. which is dollar coupon only swap or inr coupon only swap now again again reiterating the fact that once you are taking any form of interest rate liability then it is predominantly important for you to have a interest rate hedging in place you can take interest rate hedging in two ways you can take via principal only swap you can take via coupon only swap or you can take via cross currency interest rate swap cross currency interest rate swap would help you to not only protect from currency risk but also protect you from any kind of interest rate risk at the same time principal only swap protect you from the principal movement basically the currency movement not from the interest movement on the other hand coupon only swap will help you to protect from the movement of the interest rate so it is predominantly important for you to hedge your interest rate liability straight away at the same time you should be very much careful about the fact that what rates banks are offering to you what kind of ister document you have to sign with who is your lrn and party lrn stands for who is your lrn and party who is your ad so on and so forth so you should be very careful about that i would like to as a corporate treasurer treasurer again stressing out the point that it is predominantly important for you to hedge your interest rate liability and not cap this open at least from a principal point of view considering the fact that we are living in the world when iron had depreciated by roughly 25% all the in all the g7 currencies are at jr are depreciating and depreciating by several big figures in a day so thank you very much thank you very much for joining in and the next few videos would cover the detailed presentation of principal principal only swap and and coupon only swap 
In the meantime, you're most welcome to contact me at 919-899-242-978 or you can also mention, connect me at rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining and have a great evening as well.